hey everybody and welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to show you how to change currency here in google merchant center let's begin now the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials if this is your first time here in google merchant center i want you to click on the sign up option and from here just follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go Changing the currency in Google Merchant Center is tied to your account's country of operation and the feed settings. While you can directly change the currency for an existing Merchant Center account, you can adjust the settings by creating new feeds or setting up multi-currency options and some smart workarounds. Now, one of the best options that I could give you is go to your business section in the left side menu and go to the shipping and returns why because if you haven't created your shipping policies you might want to click on this get started option all right and name your shipping policy for example in this scenario we're going to create our shipping policy as of this you see to begin adding shipping information select a single country or multiple countries that share shipping costs and delivery options now you, during the creation of your account here and um Google Merchant Center, all right, and you have chosen a different location for that, and you wanted to change this now, you might want to click the Add Country, all right? For example, you are living right now in Denmark, click on it and click on Save, and now use that Denmark country because that would reflect all the products for the specific shipping costs and delivery options. You would notice that You have all these, all right? Just change the time zone to Denmark and click on continue. Now, in this section, you can change the currency to the Denmark, which is going to be the Danish Krone. It's DKK, if I'm not mistaken. Or maybe just let's use for this for now, all right? You have now an option to put in a free shipping over a specific order value no shipping below a specific order value you can put all the options here and just click on continue all right that's one way another option is go in the upper right corner where you can see the google business manager click on it now in this section i want you to go to the stores you can if you haven't created your business profile you want to make sure you add a profile and during the uh, creating a new profile for the business section here you want to make sure that you start with the currency just like that category is retail click on next all right let's uh look for no none now the region is if you want to change the region you might want to do that right now because that would reflect the currency at default if you change your target country again ensure your compliance with regional pricing and tax requirements because again the currency settings depend on the country of sale and cannot be changed retroactively for an existing feed or account all right and click on next and you should be able to click on save all right now the last option is i'm going to skip this for now you see there's going to be a question mark option here click that and click on the help center and support all right and type in our questions to see if if we have one of the customer support stuff of that would give us a troubleshooting steps on how to potentially solve the issue. All right. And that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you again in the next one.